cancer in the body. How do we prevent cancer? This is what we are really concerned about today. Of course, when we know what causes cancer, we'll do away with those things and then prevent it from happening. Doing away with what causes cancer is very, very important. So let's look at six ways very quickly on what we can do to prevent cancer. Has it not been said that prevention is better than cure? Definitely. It's better for us to prevent than even to try to cure cancer. Because even the news of cancer alone, as I indicated in that uh, research that was done with 100 individuals, the news alone that the person has cancer is enough to kill the person. So how do we prevent cancer? Let's look at the ways in which we prevent cancer. Number one is to small, stop smoking cigarettes. Smoking cigarettes not only kill the person that is smoking, but it also kills those who are taking the smoke from the, from the person that is smoking the cigarette. We call them second-hand smokers. More wives die from lung cancer and other type of cancers before the person, maybe the husband, who is smoking the cigarette itself. So number one, prevention is stop smoking. Number two is the fact that we'll not go to number two. Let's look at number one a little bit more. Why? Because the lung cancer from cigarette smoking is not only the cancer that results from cigarette smoking. Esophagus, I mentioned the fact that esophagus is the pipe when you swallow your food. That is where the food passes through before it goes into your stomach. Cancer of the esophagus, cancer of the stomach, cancer of the lungs, of the liver and the pancreas are also caused by cigarette smoking. So if you know anyone smoking cigarettes, it is advisable that the person get help because it's not easy to stop smoking. It destroys all of these organs in the body. But today, the advert for cigarette smoking is attracting even the younger generation. They are seeing it on TV, they are seeing it on billboards. They are being attracted that successful people smoke, but that is not the case. So what we, the counsel is that determine not to have anything to do with smoking. Don't start. And this is very good when we are counseling young people. Don't even start smoking. Because when a person starts smoking, the probability that he can drop the habit is very, very difficult. So say no to cigarette smoking. And many schools, many organizations are putting the sign, no smoking area. And that is good. Number two way of preventing uh, lung uh, cancer or any other cancer for that matter is not to drink alcohol. Some people say, well, I just take a little bit. Well, apart from the effect of alcohol in destroying what I refer to as humanity, when a person lies by the gutter and do not even realize what is going on, and then eventually will come down with all kinds of cancer, it is better to not even drink a little bit, stop less of drinking enough to become a derelict in the society. What is the number three way to avoid cancer? Avoid too much sun. In Africa, the pigment of our skin, they are strong enough to take a lot of sun, and we need it. But the early morning sun and the evening sun towards five o'clock or thereabouts is the sun that is the most beneficial to our body. So when the sun is so high up, let's come with umbrella or any protective gear that keeps us from too much sun. And don't sweat in the farm and allow the clothes that is wet to dry on your body when you are walking in the garden. That is when the sun causes cancer. When you allow the sun to keep on beating on you and your shirt that you are wearing under the sun and you are walking is wet. 
then you are exposing your, yourself to the sun rays, especially if it is the afternoon rays of 12 o'clock, 1, 2, and thereabouts. So limit your time in the sun. Get your work started early in the morning before the sun is really high up. And if you have to be in the sun during the day, then put on a hat and eat plenty of plant food. We will not overemphasize this point, but during our lectures, we'll continue to emphasize this. Why? Because we generally don't eat enough. People don't see fruits, for instance, as food. They see it as buying bananas when you go out and then share some with the children at home. But fruit is food and we must eat a lot of it. One important uh, point in avoiding cancer today is avoiding the use of hormones. What do we mean by hormones? When a woman gets to the stage when she's no more bearing children and her body begins to change, and she begins to have symptoms that causes her a lot of discomfort. Some causes call it hot, hot flashes, pardon me, hot flashes. It feels as if there is heat coming from inside, outside. It's very uncomfortable. They will sweat suddenly, and then they will shiver in the next five minutes. And then the doctors will recommend estrogen hormone replacement therapy. When we do that, when we accept to use that method to balance our hormones, we are asking for trouble because hormone therapy results in cancer. And cancer of the breast is becoming more and more common among women today. Did I say women? No, girls. We are seeing more and more cancer even in girls today. Many girls are having lumps in the breast breast that result in cancer in the long run if care is not taken to stop the lifestyle that causes it in the first place. What are the warning signs of breast cancer? Now that we are talking about it and how to prevent it by not taking hormones, estrogen specifically. Lump in the breast. When a woman feels lump in the breast is a warning sign of cancer. When a dent or a dimple is forming, especially under the armpit, towards the breast, it's time to do something. Because it is painless, as it is growing, you may not feel any pain. And the lymph nodes, the lymph nodes are areas in your body that normally will enlarge when you are fighting infection. So when you put your two fingers under your jaw, you can feel your lymph, the ones that are under your jaw. And when there is infection coming, you will feel that it will enlarge because it will be inflamed, trying hard to fight what is coming. And we have lymph nodes situated in several places in our body. And one of the places is under the armpit. So it will be painless to a large extent, but then it will start growing. And those cancers that come in the lymph nodes are the most devastating because when the limb is affected, then the organ system that take care of infection, that fights stops the, let me call them enemies that are attacking our bodies, when they are the ones that the enemies have put down. It's like an enemy is coming and they are able to first of all put down the military in our country. Then who are the civilians who will fight the enemy? This is what happened in the, the cancer going directly to the limb. Now, another point that we need to understand and know in preventing cancer is to get regular physical exercise. Walking is a good exercise. Gardening is a good exercise. Even if you live in the city, you can have some baskets, some pots of flowers, or even vegetables that can be consumed, like tomatoes. I have seen people plant yam in baskets. So we can do all of that, so that we, are, we have a planned physical exercise that we are involved with. At least 30 minutes a day, recommended at least up to an hour, if you can, but it does not need to be at a stretch. You can do 15 minutes, go and do some sitting jobs, and then come back, 
do 15 minutes at work rather than sit down and chat with your co-workers. Take your break time and walk around the building. At church, get up a little bit. Walk around. Don't sit down for so long that you are not active at all. And then, very important number six is to eat a good diet. I mentioned earlier on that we don't take enough fruits. I have just observed in my practice, I found that most people don't eat enough fruits. In fact, you start talking about fruit, people will say fruit is sweet. Well, the Almighty Father, who made the fruit to be sweet, he doesn't know what he's doing. Of course, he knows, he understands very well, and he knows what he's doing. When he made fruit to be sweet, it is for us to enjoy it. Because it is sweet does not mean we, we will not enjoy it. It is because of our wrong education. The education that has taught us that what God has made is not good for us because it is sweet. So they will not touch pineapple. They will not eat banana. In fact, some things that if we can eat banana at 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the evening is going to cause problems. No! You need to eat fruits. In fact, if you have to choose any food to be eaten after 3 p.m. in a day, it should be fruit. So we need to choose a variety of food. Whole grain. Food eaten as close to nature as possible. These are the foods that are to bless us. Avoid foreign fruits. Eat the local fruits because God made you to live in Nigeria. And the fruits that are local are the ones that best suit your body. So don't aspire to need to find big money so that you can eat the imported fruits. Oh, fruits are expensive because you want to eat apple? No, eat the local fruit. I see plenty of watermelon here in State Alive. Bananas, oranges all over the place. So we need to eat them. These are the foods that will nourish our bodies. The foods we should not eat, which we long to eat, are the ones that are not good for us. The shamawa, am I right? Shawawa. Shamawa. Whatever it is called, it is not food. Sorry if you sell shawawa. Because if that is what you use as food, and you don't eat good food, you are writing a letter, Dear Colon Cancer, I will apply that you please come and visit me. Prostrate cancer, uterus, breast cancer. These are diseases that all of these highly processed, fried foods, denatured foods, packed with toxins that are not good for your body. They call them spices and seasonings and highly fried. You need to see some of the oils that they use to fry some of these things and you will hold your head in disgust. It has been proven that meat eating causes colon and prostate cancer. And if we leave them alone and rather focus on good food, 50% of the cancer that now plague the world will be reduced. I see carrots on this road. I see um, sweet potatoes, Irish potatoes. They are all over the place. We cannot say that we don't see them. Now, if you are overweight, you need to reduce. Do the exercise, the proper feeding of natural food, and your waist will be normalized. Now, I will advise we need to go for screening. And that is the reason, one of the important reasons why we have been here since last week, this week, and next week. In the mornings, come, invite others to come for this screening. Because if you detect these problems early, then you can take care of it. What are the signs that we are, the cancer is growing? A change in your normal bowel or bladder habit. Maybe you have been going to the bathroom to move your bowel twice a day, now you are going 10 times, something is wrong. And you take what you should, you need to do, and the bowel move. Or you cannot go to the toilet. Three days, four days, I found somebody once who told me that she go to the toilet to move her bowel once a month. A sore that does not heal is an indication that cancer may be the result. Unusual bleeding or discharge is an indication that it could be cancer, and we need to watch it. Thickening, lump in the 
in breast or under the armpit. Bad digestion or trouble swallowing, these are signs of cancer. Noticeable changes in a wart or a mole in the skin is a sign that there is cancer. Cough that is not going. Persistent hoarseness. We need to take care of these things so that we can be in perfect health. I want to share a Bible verse with you before I leave here. And it is found in Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. It says, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandment and his, all his statutes. He says, I will put none of the diseases of, on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. May the Lord heal you in the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you so much, Mommy, for the health lecture. Let us quickly pick our Bibles. Tonight's Bible reading will be taken.